From Alphabet, right now though, get ready to hear from Keen. We caught up with them a couple of weeks ago. We talked about their new album. Uh, we talked about their tour dates, and also we talked to them about fitted shirts. Nice. You can hear the full interview next. In demand. Up next. Palom FM. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you in demand. In demand. Like that. Uh, how are you, oh. fellas? Are you well? We're very good. We've got used to hand clapping because we did lots of it on our new record. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> wow. You should be in marketing. <laughs> now, I saw you recently um, on the telly over the weekend. Uh, Tom, oh my God, look at you. <laughs> Thank Hello. you. Hello. I think. No, yes. You're, you're, you're wearing a lovely burgundy fitted shirt. Oh, yes. And you're yeah. looking very smart. Have you been shopping with Gok Wan? You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's like a dodgy euphemism. <laughs> we are, well, we're, you know, we're feeling um, very sort of excited and positive yeah. and, um, you know, I guess that's reflected in pretty much everything that we're doing at the moment. Tom's been running up, that's the truth. He's a, a very, a very fit man uh, and he goes out running a lot. So You're a lean, mean uh, running machine. He is, actually. It's, it's, you should see him on the gym. You know how everyone gets to the gym and they kind of get on the running machine and sort of trot along it, sort of yes. just <laughs> just past walking pace. Well, Tom gets on there and he sprints for 40 minutes. It's quite something to behold. Because there's something there's something about gym. I just feel really intimidated. They are intimidating, aren't they? Yeah. I don't know. And, and yeah, it's, it's those kind of posing in front of the mirrors, doing oh. bicep curl. Do you find yeah. that? I should stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. Sorry. I mean, that's terrible behaviour. But you've got Mr. Universe in the corner just going, Ugh! and it's like, can you just stop making so much noise? I am trying to concentrate. Oh, right, Universe, <laughs> shut it. Shut it. Exactly. Shut it. The new album, right, first reviews we saw of us, and the first week we saw of the single said, you've taken a more organic approach. <laughs> I love that one. Isn't yeah, what is it? Does yeah. that mean? It's you like otherworldly. Have you noticed the phrase otherworldly other is everywhere? <laughs> yeah. What the hell does we that made mean? It Mars. <laughs> yeah. Just, I don't get Organic. it. Well, organic's all the rage, isn't it? You know, vegetables yes. and records now, by the sound of it. Yeah. Um, we didn't right. spray our music with anything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no herbicides, no preservatives, no colourings. Freshly grown. <laughs> I suppose uh, for us, and uh, maybe what they're trying to say is, is you know, this sense that, well, for us, the album was a very instinctive and fun process so we we just went in and we plugged any, any old instrument in that we could find and it was really about um, making sounds and noises and songs that really made us feel great and excited so um, I guess that's the organic side of it it's a, it's a more live record certainly um, and it, you know I think you can sense the, the fun that we were having making it cool okay well let's play the last single will you introduce this for us fellas uh, this is Keen and this is our new single it's called The Lovers Are Losing Oh, yeah. Now, of course, uh, we've just played your new single, The Lovers Are Losing, and before that, you kind of gave us a, a taster single, didn't you, as well? We did, uh, Which yeah. was, of course, Spiralling. Can I just say, that's my favourite Keen song ever. Oh, <laughs> cool. Good. Thanks Good. a lot. I love it. It's brilliant. It's very 80s, I think. It and is, yeah. Have you been listening to a lot of Nick Kershaw? <laughs> well, because I tell you what, it really does remind me of him. Not particularly. I, don't, I wouldn't say consciously, but it was weird, because yeah. what I was saying about this album, that sort of sense of just plugging anything in, it, it, it was almost like a sort of childlike approach that we had to doing things we, d we just felt completely you know like sort of fearless kids going on a an incredible adventure and us and i suppose somehow subconsciously that meant that the things that we listened to when we were growing up have, have kind of found their way onto this album so um yes i suppose in a sort of indirect way there is a bit of nick kershaw there yeah. Mm. <laughs> so what's different now? Because you know there, there was the famous issue on the on the uh, on the Japanese leg of the tour, uh, and you've been through a lot as a band now. Mm. So what have you resolved? What's different? What keeps you together as a band? I think music actually, because uh, you know we obviously you know we've been through quite a lot, but we, mm. we went out in 2007, and first half of the year we're still touring. And uh, it was just fun. We just made sure we had a great time and, you know, made time for ourselves. I think you, it's easy to just get lost in a world of, you know, interviews and, you know, gigs and TV shows and, you know, forget that actually you're mates and just want to hang out and, you know, enjoy it together. You know, before we made this record, we made sure we had about a six month break and just, I don't know, reconnect with the, the real, you know, the real world and the real us, I guess, and just mm. each other. Well, yeah. getting the band all happy and, and gelling as a band, one of the processes oh. involved in this is the 30 second challenge yes it's very Good. important that you do this together <laughs> and uh, it's uh -oh. coming up next on the show it's in demand in demand up next it is in demand on the show tonight keena here more clapping, Yay! More clapping. Yay! Uh, 
Okay, fellas, well, 30 second challenge time right now. We've got the silly questions, but you need to pick who you would like to beat at the 30 second challenge. Uh, we think it's going to be Block Party, please. Okay, why Block Party? Because they're wicked. They're really nice. Uh, and, you know, we, we like beating nice people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't shout that too loud, but it's, that's right. it's on the radio now. There we go. Uh -oh. Block Party got eight when they did this oh last my time. God. Uh, what? Can I just Fly. say, last time you did this, which was back in November last year, so normally uh, like a year ago, mm. you got nine, right? Oh. Okay. And you wanted to beat Block Party, so oh, <laughs> oh, <no>. some things <laughs> don't change. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can do it then. Oh. Thirty seconds on the clock. The silly questions start. No. What's the cheesiest song on your iPod? Um, Billy Joel, uh, Innocent Man. Nice. Which film makes you cry? Uh, The Notebook. Do your best impression of a ranty dog. <laughs> 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 What's your favourite word that rhymes with keen? Um, Spleen. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a girl, what would you call yourself? Samantha. Who's your favourite James Bond? Daniel Craig. Which chocolate bar could you eat a truckload of? Curly Whirly. Man bags, an essential item or is it just wrong? Wrong. There we go. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, oh. Can I just say, right, we've been playing the What Rhymes With Keen game for some time now, and we've never said spleen. So no, we always great. just come up with beam. Yeah. Always just seems original. To be the it's yeah. great. Thank you very much. Uh, how did we do it on the 30 second challenge? Did we beat eight from Block Party or nine from the last score? You got the same. Oh, oh no. come on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you see, That's we did good. that deliberately. Oh, and okay. I think you'd suit Samantha. <laughs> yeah, no, so do I, actually. I don't know where that came from. I'm a bit so scared, actually. I'm, you did come up with that worryingly fast. <laughs> yes, yes. Like you already knew. Yeah, no, you know how my Saturday night's going to pan out from now on. That, uh, that trip to Los Angeles to see that, uh, that special doctor, what's that about? <laughs> I don't know, but my breasts are very voluptuous these days. Looking very firm. Oh, dear. Uh, the guys. pencil test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, it's brilliant to uh, to chat to you again. Thank you so much for being on the yes. show. I think we'd like to play Spiralling, if that's okay. Oh, go for it. Yeah. Could you, uh, could you introduce it for us, guys? Hello, this is a band called Keen, and...